Hello, hi and Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my online English class. Welcome, welcome. If you are new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Madam Zeti and I hope everyone is doing awesome at home. Alright, Year 5 students. So, this video is going to be on Unit 4 Learning World. And today, we are going to be looking at page 49. So, go ahead and grab your English plus one textbook and turn to page 49. For the first part of the lesson, we are going to begin it with reading an email. Let's read Danny's email to Ella. Hi Ella, I'm really happy that you can come to Ireland and study at our school next month for the exchange program. Here's some information for you. Clona Kiri Community College is a medium-sized school with about 500 students. It's in the center of Clona Kiri in Ireland. Classes here start at 9 a.m. and finish at 4 p.m. There's a break at 11 a.m. and we have lunch at 1.20 p.m. Some subjects like math and English are compulsory. Other subjects such as woodwork, business studies and languages are optional. I like languages, so I study French and Spanish. What are your favorite subjects? Here's a photo of some students in my class. We're looking for information for a geography project. Maybe you can email me a photo of your class or your school right soon. Danny Alright, what an interesting email. Have you ever sent an email before? Well, stay until the end of today's video because we are going to learn on how to write an okay, email. Now, let us try and answer practice 1. The first question, how many subjects does Danny talk about. In his email, Danny talk about seven subjects, which are math, English, woodwork, business studies, languages, French, and Spanish. The second one, is Danny's school different from your school? Now, this one is different for everybody. You have to answer this based on your own school. Alright, let's move on to practice 2. For this practice, you need to fill in the blanks using the key phrases found in the email that we have just read. But before we discuss the answers together, how about you guys try this one on your own first? Pause and try to complete this practice first and then come back here and we will discuss the answers. Let's go! Okay, well done everybody. So, did you guys manage to get all of the key phrases? Well, now it's time for us to discuss the answers. Let's go! So, for the first one, I'm really blank that. So, the answer is happy. And we can find this word in the first paragraph here. I'm really happy that you can come to Ireland and study at our school next month. Number two. It's a small, blank, big school. So what is the key phrase over here? Yes, it's medium size. And in the email, you can find it in this sentence next one number three some subjects like math and english are blank so the answer is compulsory which means wajib so you cannot choose these subjects you have to learn it 
Okay, so this can be found in this sentence. Next one, number four. Other subjects are, the answer is, optional or pilihan or tidak wajib. Okay, so you can find this answer, this key phrase in this sentence. Next one, number five. Here's a photo of... And you can find this in this sentence. And last one, number six. Maybe you can email me. And this key phrase can be found in this sentence. Well done, boys and girls. Moving on to the next part of today's lesson. All right, so now we are going to look at the word so. What is so? And what is it used for? Let us begin. Alright, so basically, so is used to connect two sentences. Digunakan untuk menggabungkan dua ayat. It's like a bridge or jambatan. And it is also used to show or to talk about effects. Result, apa yang terjadi diakibatkan sesuatu perbuatan. And in Malay, it is known as jadi or oleh itu. Alright, in order for you to better understand the use of the word so, jom kita buat sedikit latihan which is practice 3. So, what you have to do is match sentences 1 to 4 with sentences A to D. And then, you need to combine these two sentences using the word so, one, so uh, let us do practice three. Let's match these sentences together. So, number one, I'm learning some Spanish words. Yes, I need a dictionary. Number two, I've got two bikes. Yes, you can use one of them. Number three, there's a history exam tomorrow. Yes. I'm revising now. And number four, there aren't any classes this afternoon. Yes, we can go and play football. And the next step is, we need to write these sentences by combining them using the conjunction so. So, let's write them. Number one, I'm learning some Spanish words, so I need a dictionary. Number two, I've got two bikes, so you can use one of them. Number three, there's a history exam tomorrow, so I'm revising now. Number four, there aren't any classes this afternoon, so we can go and play football. And now everyone, let us try and write an email of our own. Let's write an email about your school. And I will be using my school as an example. This exercise can be found in your textbook which is practice 4. But of course, before we start writing any type of essay, we need to draft it out first. We need to think and plan. So, let us try and answer these questions first to help us out in writing our email. Who is the visitor and when is the visit? Amy from the UK in three weeks. These are based on the question given. Question number two. How big is your school? My school is medium-sized. But if you are talking about your school, you can use small or large depending on your own school. Question number three. Where is your school? My school is in or you can also say my school is located in Arau Perlis. Question number four. When are the lessons, break and lunch? Classes here start at 7.40 a.m and finish at 1.30 p.m. There's a break at 10 a.m. We usually have lunch at home at around 2 p.m. Question number five. What subjects do students study? Students study subjects like math, 
English and science. Question number six. What is in the photo which you are emailing? It is a photo of some students in my class. They are working on an art project. So if you guys notice, most of the answers are based mostly on the email that we have just read previously, which is Danny's email. So you can also use that email as your own guide when you are writing your own email. Now, let us see how do we write these answers in an email. We are following the guidelines given in the textbook. So first paragraph will be the introduction and this is how we write it. First, you need to greet the person that you are emailing. In my case, it's Amy. So I will write, Hi Amy. And now we can start the email with some simple introduction. And this is based on Dennis' email. I'm really happy that you can come to Malaysia and study at our school in three weeks for the exchange program. Here's some information for you. Next one, we are going to talk about the school. This is the second paragraph. SK Tambun Tulang is a medium-sized school with about 500 students. It's located in Arau Perlis. Alright, the next paragraph, which is paragraph 3, we are going to talk about timetables and subjects. Classes here start at 7.40 a.m. and finish at 1.30 p.m. There is a break at 10 a.m. and we have lunch at home at around 2 p.m. We have 12 subjects altogether like English, Math and Science. They are all compulsory. I like languages, so I really enjoy English lessons. What are your favourite subjects? Alright. Note that there are some phrases that I have underlined which means those are some additional information that I add which is suitable for my own school. So you can change it around to suit your own school. And the last paragraph, we are going to describe your photo. Here's a photo of some students in my class. They are working on an art project. Maybe you can email me a photo of your class or your school. So the ones in red, it means that you can change it around. Maybe uh, like in the email, it's geography project. But you can also change it up like science experiment, uh, math equations and so on. And you close your email by saying write soon and then your own name, the sender's name, which in this case, my name, Zeti. And the last step that you have to do is write that email in an email form like this. So now it's your turn to write your own email to talk about your school student that is visiting your school in three weeks. So have fun and good luck. Unfortunately, we have come to the end of our lesson for today. That is all for now. But I hope I will see you soon in my next lesson video. So please stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget, if you haven't yet, do click on the subscribe button down below and also ring the bell untuk menjadi orang yang pertama tahu bila Madam upload video yang baru di channel ini. And also, if this video helps you out, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it around with all of your friends. See you soon. Goodbye and Assalamualaikum.